Nine years ago, Elizabeth Parker was struggling to get by as a divorced mother of three. Fear was not being able to provide for them and not being able to meet their needs. The income she received from child support and her full-time job wasn't enough to pay for the basics. So Elizabeth began using credit cards to buy groceries, clothes, and to pay her bills. Before long, she was $9,000 in debt. I was constantly worried about how I was gonna pay bills, how I was gonna pay rent sometimes, how I was gonna pay um, the electric bill. To make matters worse, Elizabeth's employer relocated her. In doing so, her living expenses doubled. A lot of my prayers were just, just help me make it through to the next whenever. Over the next four years, Elizabeth lived paycheck to paycheck. Then at the suggestion of a friend, she started attending a new church. It was there she learned the importance of tithing. That was the first time I ever heard him, ever really heard somebody say to me that like God owns 100% and he allows you to keep 90%. I knew for a fact I was not living and doing what God's best was. That's when she said she heard God speak to her. It wasn't audible, but I just remember hearing God say, you have to trust me. You just have to trust me. The following Sunday, Elizabeth began tithing at church. I would like to say that suddenly I had this huge windfall and I made like a gazillion extra dollars. That did not happen. I had just enough, I had what I needed. During this time, she also learned about the importance of having a budget and how to get out of debt. You pay God, you pay yourself, and then you pay all the other expenses. And so I've actually started saving. Oh, and the other really great thing about saving for Christmas and birthdays is I don't put it on a credit card, right? So I pay cash for everything. That's so great, I love it. Elizabeth started a new retail job with a 10% salary increase. And then over the next few months, she received several bonus checks. I knew for sure that I was going to continue to tithe no matter what. Um, I just have seen God do some really amazing things and just grow my faith in ways that probably would not have happened if I had not been faithful with what he had given me. With all of her savings, she was able to pay off over half of her credit card debt. She was also able to put a down payment on her new home. When I think about everything in this house, the colors, the floor, the layout, every single thing is mine and I got to choose it and so I love that. Elizabeth encourages everyone to be faithful over what God has given them and to tithe and then watch God do amazing things for them too. Throughout Genesis to Revelation, God is always, always faithful to his people and that when we love him and we obey him and we trust him, that like he will show himself to you.